Hey everyone, so today I'm just going to do a quick video on layer masks and hopefully get your head around using them in Photoshop. So what I've got here is I have my finger heads image in colour in black and white. So when I brush through the layer you can easily see what I'm doing. And <coughs> sorry. And it will um hopefully get you using layer masks and not being scared of them as I once was. So yeah, the layer mask it directly affects the layer that you've got it on. I'll remove this one. So layer mask you'll find this little square with a circle in it. At layer mask that will go onto the layer that you have selected. So I have this one. And there's my layer mask there once I've clicked it. To use one you need to have it selected and yeah, we'll get into it. So this white shows everything and then black conceals. So white reveals, black conceals. That's how it goes. So at the moment with this black and white layer, I've got a white mask, which means it will show everything on the layer. If I want to show what's below it, the color version, I'm going to have to brush in black on my layer. So I'll just brush in a black stroke. You can see down here is your black and whites. Brush in a black stroke. And that is essentially hiding that part of the image to reveal the image below. It's um sometimes it's a bit of a trick to get your head around it. But just think of how it's affecting the direct layer that the mask is on. <clears throat> That's how I do it. I don't some people have different ways, but if I think all oh, black, I'm gonna block out this layer with the black and it will reveal the bottom layer. That's how I see it. <clears throat> now you can also start out with a, a black layer mask, and that's by alt clicking the layer mask button. So hold down alt, click this layer mask and it comes up with a black one. <clears throat> so as you can see, that's hiding everything on this layer and is revealing the color layer below. And it works just the opposite to what we just did before. So I'll need to come down to my colors and I'll be brushing in white. You can use X if you want, just hit X and it swaps them. And so this would be saying this layer mask would be saying here, I'm blocking you. And then if I brush white, it will now be saying I'm showing that part, I'm showing the white part. Because the white, it, it shows what is on its layer and the black hides. I'm hoping this is helping. So I'll, I'll move away from these images and I'll Yes, and I'll just do a simple um, layer here. So let's say we wanted to increase the contrast in the sky, or in just the sky alone, not down here, but just the sky. I'll go into my brightness contrast. I'll increase it to what I like. Yep, there. And then you see straight away it's got a white layer mask. So that means it's showing everything, it's showing the whole uh, process. If I wanted to brush out the foreground, I could use a black and keep the sky. So I could just brush that out and then the contrast, as you can see, will not be affecting the foreground, Just you'll see just the sky changing. Or, what you can do is, rather than brushing all of the foreground, you can Command I on Mac, I think it's Control I on PC, and that will invert your mask. So that can just easily turn it white to black. Now, if you remember, black hides everything. 
it will hide that brightness contrast layer so we'll still be we'll only be seeing what's below it and to reveal it once again it's like a black versus white battle we'll get our white and we'll just brush in the sky and that's a lot easier so it depends if you you if you're happy to use a white mask and brush in all the foreground you can if it's just easier to invert your mask or alt click your mask and um, brush in the smallest amount that's how I see it so yeah it's just a battle of black and white really um, the mask will only affect it if it's on the top layer if I was to mask in here and try and do things no it's not going to work it needs to be on the top layer and it will only affect the layer below so yeah if you have any queries about this video just send me a message on my Facebook page or send me an email I think that's linked on my Facebook page anyway and yeah I hope that's a little bit more of an understanding of masks and I'll catch you later